Ready, set, go. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to work on hooking up the electronic speed control to the Jetson. Let's get started. So we're going to hook the ESC up to the Jetson through a PMW driver. Let me introduce to you the star of the hit video, PMW driver, and the star of the film, I'm You and PMW driver and most recently, the hit video, Jetson Race Car Part 2, Steering Control. Please welcome PCA 9685. We're going to hook the ESC up to the PCA 9685, which in turn goes to the Jetson. If you remember from the previous video, we took the steering servo and hooked it up through the PMW driver. Now we're going to hook up the ESC, the electronic speed control, into the PMW driver. So let's zoom in a little bit. You can see that the ESC is plugged into channel three. So we'll unplug that. We'll connect two leads to this. One is the ground, that will be black, and the control signal is white. Because the battery is going to supply power through this red line, we will not be hooking it up to our driver board. And we're going to plug that into the second channel here of the PMW driver. The ground is on the bottom pin and the signal goes into the top pin here. Coming out of the PMW driver, we go through I2C into the Jetson. In this case, we're using a Jetson TX1. This will also work on a Jetson TK1, and then this is a six volt power that's supplying power to the servo. We go to the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub to the Jetson race car repository, and we're going to clone that. So let's grab that. Then clone the repository. In the research directory, we have two different programs. One is a program that sets the throttle. These are both QT programs. So we're going to build both of the programs. First one is set throttle. Just build all. Out of that, over to throttle control, build that one, oops, configure the project, then build it. So what these programs do is basically set the PMW driver level. Kind of go over that a little bit here. So let me see if I can explain this. We take a frame, which is 20 milliseconds. On the PMW frequency that we're using, it's 50 hertz, so it's 1,000 milliseconds divided by 50, which is 20. It gives us 20 milliseconds. The PCA9685 is a 12-bit driver 
so it has 4096 spots. In order to send out a full reverse signal on the ESC, we need a one millisecond pulse. A neutral signal is a 1.5 millisecond pulse and a full PMW forward signal is two milliseconds. So in order to figure that out, we take the one millisecond divided into 20 milliseconds, which is 0 0.05, and multiply at that times the resolution of the driver, which is 4096, and we get 204. And we do that for both neutral and forward. So that gives us full reverse, neutral, and full forward. We have the steering channel is in plug number zero, and the ESC channel is in plug number one. The car comes from the factory calibrated to work with the transmitter that came with the car. Since we're using a different method of controlling the electronic speed controller, we need to recalibrate this. So we're going to run the set throttle program that we compiled previously. Let's switch over to that directory. sudo dot slash set throttle. And we're ready to calibrate the throttle. So we want to make sure that we're sending out a neutral signal before we power up the car. To power up the car, we connect the battery. Now we're ready to calibrate the ESC. Press and hold the easy set button till the red light comes on. After it flashes once, hit full forward. After it flashes twice, hit full reverse. When you see the green, hit neutral, and the light turns red, indicating that the car is armed. So just to make sure that this works, we will run the steering here a little bit. We use sudo here for the permissions. Dot slash throttle control. Your little program comes up. So I'm going to select steering. It goes to the neutral position. Now I can change these. A slow increment. You can see that the wheels don't move much, but they move a little bit. You can set the duty cycle. And something around 400, back to neutral. So what this helps you with is you can find out what the stop limits are on the actual steering servo. We calculated that full reverse, which is all the way to the right, would be 204. On this particular servo, that appears to be a little too much. It's straining a little bit, so. So it sounds like 225 is, it, is its true maximum. and the wheels don't move much past 408 or 409. The other thing that you have to figure out is what is the actual 
steering straight ahead. So this gives you a little bit finer grain control to find out where that is. So let's take a look at the ESC. Another thing that we need to do is put the ESC into training mode. So we turn the ESC off to place it into training mode. We hold the button down. It will flash once for regular mode, twice for racing mode, and three times for training mode. After it flashes three times, release the ESC and you're good to go. Red indicates armed. Make sure our throttle ESC is selected. We're currently in neutral, which means that there's no, nothing going on. Now we're going to increment it until we get some forward action. Make sure your hands are clear. So you can see it's kind of a binary thing. Also goes in reverse. So it looks like 298 to 308 is neutral. Anything above or below that puts you in forward or reverse. I lied, it's over 316 is. So even at its slowest setting, it looks like this is a little too fast for our beginning applications. So we're going to have to come up with a way to actually figure out how to make this extremely slow. We'll probably do that similar pulse type of thing. We'll turn it on for half a second or so and then turn it off and on and off. But the good news is we have control of the throttle and the motors.